Hi, my name is Michelle Williams, and I am applying for the Sedell L. Miller Foundation Scholarship, and this is my video. So, I understand that there are many deserving students of this scholarship, but I believe I should be chosen for this opportunity because overall, it will help me achieve my lifelong goal of entering the beauty industry, along with taking some financial burden off my shoulders to be able to attend my dream school. Not only do I have the passion for beauty and skincare, but I am self-taught special effects makeup artist as well as a beauty makeup artist. So I believe in myself to be able to excel with the skills I already have along with being able to learn even more in school. I've had the amazing opportunity of being my high school's head makeup artist in their drama department as well as getting hired to work as a special effects artist for a music video and a short film. To receive the scholarship would almost be winning the lottery. The scholarship will impact my life vastly due to the fact that I want to continue on my education after being licensed and become a medical esthetician. My goal is eventually to work with plastic surgeons and assist patients who have undergone trauma, illnesses, or surgeries that have affected their appearance. I want to be able to restore a sense of normalcy in people's lives while making them feel beautiful. After graduating high school, I struggled with wanting to go back to school. I wasn't absolutely sure what I wanted to do for a career, and I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on a degree for something I wasn't completely sure of. And to add on top of that, I struggled with my mental health. I didn't have the drive for beauty and makeup anymore. And for the next two years, I found myself in a bad spot in life where I wasn't creating and wasn't even taking care of myself. So those two things were the biggest challenges to overcome. Last year, with the help of my sister, she pulled me out of my rut and made me start creating again. And I finally found my light. About a couple months ago, I decided it was time for me to apply to school. I'm finally back in my groove with creating makeup looks, and I feel inspired. My mental health has improved, and I'm happy with the way life is going. The saying, they're the light at the end of the tunnel, is insanely true, and it just takes a little push sometimes. And thankfully for my sister, she gave me that push. Ever since I can remember, I was in love with the classic and original ideas of beauty and makeup. Even from a young age, I remember sneaking into my mother's bathroom while she was away at work and trying on all her Mary Kay products. My mom realized how intrigued I was with the idea of makeup, and she began supporting me in my makeup endeavors, which fueled me to become more familiar with the science behind the art. Learning how to apply and use makeup for my mom made me curious to learn more about the world of the beauty industry, and from that point on, I knew what I wanted to do with my future. But when I knew esthetology was my calling is when I learned about it for the first time. I had never heard of an esthetician until my favorite body painter and special effects artist was talking about it in one of her YouTube videos. I got curious and decided to Google what it was, despite not even knowing how to spell esthetician. I figured, why not go to school and learn about skincare? It goes hand in hand with everything I love about beauty and makeup. I have a passion for practicing self-love and self-improvement. From an eyebrow wax to facials and makeup techniques, those little things can bring confidence and features of self-love that spill into their everyday life. My first model is my friend Lydia, who volunteered to be my aesthetics model. I practiced dermaplaning on her face. Dermaplaning is probably my favorite technique to get rid of facial hair and to exfoliate the skin to achieve a smooth base for applying makeup. As someone who struggles with darker vellus hair, I also dermaplane my face at home. For a while, I was very self-conscious about having darker peach fuzz than others, and using facial bleach didn't do much. The hair was still there, but then I found out about dermaplaning at home, and it completely changed my world. Dermaplaning makes makeup applications smoother, remove fine wrinkles and acne scars, along with brightening the skin. As you can see in the before and after, her skin looks much smoother and she has a glow and the makeup application was a lot better. My second model is my friend Allie who volunteered to be my makeup model. My vision for this makeup was an edgy classy glam look. I wanted to do a red lip to make her red hair pop but I didn't want just a classic red. So I added black to the center to create an ombre and some dimension for a little edge. Then for the eyes I used warm tones of red, orange, and brown to blend through the crease and a hint of black to make it a little smoky and sultry. For the lid, I used a shimmery gold to pull the warm colors out in the crease, along with adding that pop of glam in the look. On the cheekbones, I added some highlighter to give it a full glam look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's in what I envisioned for a classy, edgy, and glam makeup. 